Hello everyone and welcome to another at Maths tutorial video. Now I'll be discussing SPM 2016 paper 1 question number 24 from form 5 chapter 8 probability distributions short question. Okay before that please like this video to show your support and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future. Okay let me read the question now. Consumer Association ABC conduct a survey on lifespan of a particular brand light bulb. It is found that the probability lifespan of the bulb less than 6 months is P. So as you can see here, this is the diagram 24. Okay, continue to read the question. A sample of 3 light bulbs is selected at random. Diagram 24 shows the result of the survey such that X represents the number of light bulbs with a lifespan less than 6 months. Okay, so the question asks to find the value of P, that is for the question part A. As for the question part B, calculate how many light bulbs are still functioning after 6 months if 20 light bulbs from the same brand are used. So this is the overall question. So I hope that you will attempt this question in the future. If you could manage to solve this question, a big thumbs up to you guys. But if you can't solve this question, no worries, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step working and the solutions. So without further delay, let us start to solve the question. Before moving on to solve this question, you need to identify whether this question is asking for binomial distribution or normal distribution. As you can see in the statement over here, probability lifespan of the bulb less than 6 months, okay, this question is emphasizing your lifespan of the bulb should be less than 6 months. So in this case, you can know that this is the probability of success. Okay, where you can find this term of probability of success, you can find this in the binomial distribution. Okay, binomial distribution is a possibility of win or lose or success or failure. Okay, in this case, the question is emphasizing the probability of lifespan of the bulb less than 6 months, which is given as letter P over here. Okay, usually... The question how they'll give is they'll give you the probability of success and the probability of failure okay and then they'll give you a number of sample okay let's say for example 10 and there out of the 10 okay let's say they'll ask you to find okay how much is the probability when you choose one uh, sample or two sample or less than five or more than seven something like that but in this case what they give is they give you the number of samples selected okay in the x-axis and then the respective probability in the y-axis okay so in this diagram 24 okay when you select zero uh, bulb okay you'll get 1 over 64 okay when you select 1 you get 9 over 64 when you select 2 you have 27 over 64 okay when you select 3 the probability is the same which is 27 over 64 so this is the overall idea guys okay so make sure that you read the question in order to uh, solve the question okay so in order to find the value of p what we're going to do is okay we're going to choose one of the sample over here okay you can choose any sample over here in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose the sample 3 okay when you choose three sample you should get your probability is 27 over 64 so to proceed for the calculation, you should know the formula of binomial distribution. If you don't know the formula of binomial distribution, so I'm going to show you a quick formula in the screen here. So please have a look at it as your reference. Okay, let us continue. So from here, when your probability x is equals to 3, so you'll get equals to 27 over 64 okay so we're going to express this in terms of the binomial distribution uh, calculation so how are you going to do that okay i'm going to show you now so please follow up with me guys so out of the three samples okay you're choosing all the three okay so your probability probability of success okay you don't know so you just write here in a bracket p so p okay to the power of three Probability of failure, how to find? Okay, you don't know the probability of failure. But then you should know that your probability of failure, Q, is equals to 1 minus probability of success. Okay, so from here, your probability of failure will be 1 
minus p close bracket to the power of 0 and then you equal to 27 over 64 okay 3c3 you should get is 1 okay and then 1 minus p to the power of 0 okay power of 0 anything to the power of 0 you should get is 1 okay so you only left with p cube is equals to 27 over 64 okay let me continue the working over the side so to find the p what you do you cube root 27 over 64 okay so from here you should get your p is equals to 3 over 4 so this 3 over 4 is considered your probability of success in this case is the probability lifespan of the bulb less than 6 months okay let me underline the solution for the question part a all right so that is all for the explanation for the question part a let me proceed to the question part b now for the question part b they are require us to find the number of light bulbs which are still functioning after six months if 20 light bulbs from the same brand are used okay so in the question part a we have already find the probability of the lifespan of the bulb less than six months in this question they are emphasizing the bulb which are still functioning after six months so the first step on what you need to do is you need to find the probability where the lifespan of the bulb more than six months so how you need to do that okay let me write in the working here okay to find the probability of the lifespan of bulb more than six months will be equals to one you minus with three over four okay so in the question part a we have already find the probability of the lifespan of the bulb less than six months in this case is three over four so to find the lifespan of bulb more than six months what you do one you minus with three over four so from here you should get your answer is one over four so this is your first step okay this question part b involves the concept of probability guys okay the first step you have already find out which is the probability okay the second step what you're going to do is find the number of uh, possible outcome okay in this case they already give us the 20 uh, sample space okay so from here if you want to find the number of number of lifespan of bulb more than six months will be equals to 20 okay in this case the 20 represent the sample space and then you times with the probability of the lifespan of the bulb more than six months so 20 times with 1 over 4 so from here you'll get a uh, five bulbs so this five bulbs is the possible outcome based on the probability obtained over here in the first step okay so i hope you understand the concept behind this okay let me underline the solution over here okay so that is all for the step-by-step -step working and solution for this question i hope you understand the full working that i've shown to you if you like this video please give your thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future and not to forget to share this video Thank you everyone for your support and I'll see you in the next video.